from a town with a population of 125. Welcome to Honey, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions pregame show. Visit and support Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions for any artificial turf insulation needs. Contact our friends at Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions at 303-635-6119 or visit their website. Matchup today is the Swink Lions making the trip down to Honey to play the Honey Farmers. Men starting off with the Lions. Very important game here for Swink. Uh, Santa Fe League matchup, obviously, currently they sit six with allowing the second most points in the Santa Fe League with 402 ahead of Rocky Ford, who has allowed 424. The Lions are led by second year head coach Jace Bozerman. Uh, Jace Bozerman, players to look for, is possibly one of the best 2A Colorado players for basketball, I'd have to say. Hunter Bozerman, also one of the best, if not the best, eight-man quarterbacks. Unfortunately, didn't get to see him play here in the fall due to an injury. Great to see him, though, back in full health and being the dominant athlete he is. Also look for Nate Cabrera, who is 22nd in 1A through 5A basketball in the state with 4.5 steals per game, averaging Going over to the Honey Farmers, led by first-year head coach Mike Rodolfi. They are in for a tough task today, containing Hunter Bozerman. Farmers currently stand one game above 500, being four and three, also having their first game since, you know, that Swallows Charter Academy win, winning 60 to 39, where Nathan Zamora filled up the back of his basketball card. You know, Zamora having the junior guard, nine points, four rebounds, seven assists, and four steals. His season high also came up this season at home versus Los Animas. Um, you know, also look for Anthony Sandoval if he plays today. It'll be the Trinidad transfer's second game. We saw him in action versus Swallows Charter Academy. Him having seven points there on three for six shooting. Gonna be a great game on the Santa Fe League matchup on the Santa Fe league matchup here both teams vying for victory here jace bozerman swink lions versus mike rodolfi's honey farmers is next on the saddle rock sports network larcc trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul a family-owned trucking business since 2021 larcc is named after the owner's children their motivation to create a successful future larcc is ready to help you haul your hay cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Alrighty, you currently hear PA announcer Jay Basco here. We're about to get started here. Starting lineups presented here by Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions. Be number three, Nate Cabrera. Number 13, the senior, Hunter Bozerman. 
Number 22, the junior, Nick Pellucci. Number 33, the senior, Hunter Reynolds. And to wrap it up, number 43, the junior, Luke Hannigan. Now you're going to get your Honey Farmers starting lineups. LaVon Bachicha. Number three, Nathan Zamora. Number 23, Jacob Maganet. Number 33, Jason Guzzo. And to wrap it up, number 44, Bobby Terry. Should be a good game here on tap. Obviously, Santa Fe League matchup, as we mentioned a lot there in that pregame show. Going to be a great task here for the Honey Farmers. Can they contain Hunter Bozerman is going to be the big question. And the tip from Honey Colorado, LaVon Bachicho wins it. Here comes Jason Guzzo. Going to go over to Nathan Zamora back or Jacob Magnet drawing the start for the Farmers. Magnet slings outside Guzzo. Guzzo going inside, feet inside. Bobby Terry going up with it back over to right wing. Jacob Magnet from Cougar Canyon up and no good. Down there, number 22, Nick Pellucci, the junior. Here comes Nate Cabrera, the junior, bringing it up for the Lions. Back inside, that's going to be Hunter Reynolds, the senior, going up with it and a foul. That foul being on LaVon Bachicha, first committed of the night. First free throw from Reynolds up and no good. Second one from Reynolds up and no good. Recovered, Bozerman. Bozerman gonna go back over to Cabrera. Cabrera working inside, working on Zamora, up and good. Cabrera in the scoring column with two to get us started. This Lions team, um, Led by head coach Chase Bozerman, 9-11 last year, second year as a head coach. 4-4 four four this year, 13-15 total in his career. And Nathan Zamora cashes. Udo, dos, tres, Nathan Zamora. Farmer's back on top here. Here comes Cabrera. Cabrera has it top the key, going to go over to Pellucci. Pellucci looking for Bozerman, contained by Bachicha. So far tonight, it's pretty much looked like Putting best athlete on the court against best athlete on the court. You've seen LaVon Bachicha, wherever he goes, Hunter Bozerman goes. Nathan Zamora has it. Pellucci was the man who connected on that deep two for the, the Lions. Bobby Terry trapped by Reynolds, back over to Bachicha outside. Bachicha up with it up and no good. Recover, Jason Guzzo, he's gonna have it over on the right wing. Jason Guzzo, long three from Steph Curry, range from Zamora up and no good. Left wing, here comes Bobby Terry, feet inside. LaVon Bachicha ahead to the charity strike. It's called on Hunter Bozerman. LaVon Bachicha connects his first shot of the night from Charity Stripe up and good. He has one point. That foul was committed by Hunter Bozerman. So arguably, you know, if not, the two best athletes on the court here. Quick foul for each of them. Here comes Reynolds, feet inside, work in Bozerman. Bozerman up and good. Two points for Hunter Bozerman. Magnet trapped. Cabrera takes it away. First of many steals I expect him to have tonight. Up and good for Nate Cabrera. Here comes half court press for the Lions. Magnet recovers. Back over to Guzzo. Guzzo working inside. Nice move, but heading the other way.
Here comes Cabrera bringing it up. Cabrera gonna slow things down here. This game has been very fast paced so far. Bozerman recovers, Cabrera up from three up and no good. 48 currently the score, all Lions up by four here. Nathan Zamora has it. Zamora gonna sling it over to Maganat. Maganat, pump fake back over to Terry. Terry looking for it now, he's gonna go over to Zamora. So far Zamora's averaged eight points per game, 3.6 assists per game on the season. Recovered, Bozeman back in the hands of Zamora, tipped, Reynolds back into the hands of Cabrera, two quick steals for Cabrera. Sandoval do check in here for the Farmers as well as Diego Lujan. Magnet hits the bench as well as Bobby Terry. Good to see Anthony Sandoval out there. Seven points in the win over Swallows Charter Academy. Hunter Bosman up and good, he has four points. Now going back over to Bosman, 18.9 points per game, 5.5 rebounds per game. They also see the kid getting it done on the football field. Last two years in football, 33 total touchdowns in only 14 games. LaVon Bacicca heading to the charity stripe. That foul called on number 22, Nick Pellucci. Number 45, the junior Court LaRue checking in. LaVon Bacicca's first free throw up and good. Hannigan hits the bench. LaVon Bacicca unable to connect on that second one, recovered Reynolds. Farmers needed that one badly. Here comes Cabrera, five to 10, currently he has scored. Bodies hit the deck, that being Bosman Lujan. Recovered, here comes Reynolds. Reynolds working on Guzzo, feed, ball rolling. Here comes Ethan Zamora. Nathan Zamora going up with it, slowing things down over the left wing, back over to Guzzo. Guzzo long three, up. Banks not open that time for Guzzo, recovered Hunter Bosman. 3.50 remaining. Here comes Cabrera bringing it up, going back to Cabrera, 11.8 points per game, that brings him second on the team. Bozerman's long two up and no good. Lujan recovers. Here comes Lujan, back over Zamora, Sandoval right wing. Here comes Lujan's long three. Banks not open for him either. Two quick missed threes here for the Farmers. Here comes Cabrera, back over to Reynolds. Reynolds, feet over, long three, up, no good. Jace Rogers do check in here for the Farmers. Nathan Zamora, back over right wing, Guzzo. Guzzo pump fake, back over to Lujan, right wing. Feet inside, here comes Guzzo. Nice little dish to the net to Jason Guzzo, and that's what the Farmers need. Nice Lujan to Guzzo connection. Seven to ten's the score. Bozerman has it. Jace Rogers due to check in. Cabrera working on Lujan up and good. Cabrera doing a good job making Lujan bite there with the pump fake. Jace Rogers due to check in. The senior here, the only senior for this Farmers team. You know, Rogers coming off the bench for this Farmers team, been a big staple for this Farmers team over his four year career here for the Honey Farmers. So look for him to make a huge difference in this game. Here comes Nathan Zamora, gonna go over to Sandoval, back over to Bachicha. Bachicha working inside. Bachicha with the little sky hook up and no good recovered. And a timeout taken by head coach Bosman. We're gonna take a timeout of our own. We'll be right back here on the Sad Rock Sports Network. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Brock Bernelli, Chris Lee Faria, Destiny Archuleta, and Gabby Rios here in Honey, Colorado here, bringing this game on the Saddle Rock Sports Network to you guys. Here comes Cabrera. Isaiah Bachicha, another senior for this Honey Farmers team, due to check in. Back over to Cabrera, back over Reynolds, left wing, back over to Pellucci. Pellucci feet inside from Hannigan, outside Reynolds, left wing up, and the bank is open. Make that three for Reynolds, seven to 15 to score. It's Lions team four and four on the year, two and two away, 500 record for them, coming off a 66 to 37 loss versus Lamar. Levon Bachicha checking out into the game as Isaiah Bachicha. Here comes Reynolds. His short two up and no good. Recovered Cabrera working on Rodgers. Cabrera up and good. Rattles into the toilet bowl. Great showing so far from this Sweet Lions team. Zamora thought about it. Isaiah Bachicha up and no good. Third miss, three for the Farmers. Chase Rogers, hint to charity strike. You know, if you're going back to the film of this game, something like that, you know, three miss, you know, three point shots is something you need to possibly watch here if you're the Farmers. Nonetheless though, they went inside with Chase Rogers and went to the charity strike connecting for his first one. Chase Rogers, 2.7 points per game on the season for him. 54 seconds remaining. This Farmers team has to capitalize here. Two points for Chase Rogers. Cabrera doing a very good job handling the point guard duties. Back over Bosserman. Up and good. Cabrera having so far one of the best first halves I've seen for a point guard, you know, in a first half of play. You know, I've covered probably 20 to 30 basketball games already this year, and uh, Nate Cabrera have been one of the most talented point guards, you know, I've seen, you know, with the eye test for uh, any action, you know, I've seen this year. So Nate Cabrera just having a very good game so far for the Lions. Bozerman shot up and no good. Isaiah Bachicha recovers one of two seniors on this Farmers team. Isaiah Bachicha and Jace Rogers on the court here for the Farmers. Isaiah Bachicha working on Bozerman up and no good. Recovered Cabrera. Here comes Cabrera. Unable to get that shot off. End of one, 9 to 20. All Lions. We're going to be right back here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Nine to 20 is the score here. Bringing your coach spotlights here, presented by LARCC, starting off with the Farmers. Mike Rodolfi, head coach, coached at Trinidad from 2011 to 2017, going 46 to 58 there in five years as Trinidad's men's head coach. Also longtime state winning coach, George Dasko is the assistant. Going over though to the other side, Jace Bozerman, his second year as the Lions head coach. Kind of a little fun fact, professional archery shooter, has over 14 followers on Instagram. Did not know that coming into the game, but you know, shout out to my brother-in-law, Brock Wilson, uh, archery shooter himself, you know, knowing about that. So, you know, cool little thing there for your LARCC coach spotlight. 
Here comes Jace Rogers, feet inside Guzzo. Guzzo up, no good. Back over, Magnet, long three. No good, recovered, Jason Guzzo. Jason Guzzo working inside. Takes it himself and good. Rattles into the toilet bowl for Jason Guzzo. 11 to 20 is your score, 715 remaining. Here comes Cabrera. Back over Hannigan, right wing. Inside Reynolds, back outside, right wing. Tip Zamora, back inside. Cabrera working on Rogers up and no good. Recovered, that was Bobby Terry. Jacob Magnet, long three, Jason Guzzo. Air balls it up and no good. You know, it's just been a thing we've seen, just three ball not connecting here for this Farmers team. Here comes Hannigan. Hannigan gonna go outside to Reynolds. Working over, that's gonna be Cabrera. Back inside, tip, Jace Rogers. Recovered, Cabrera. Back over to Bozerman. Bozerman up, no good. Recovered. And again, 43 working on 33, Jason Guzzo and out of bounds. Six twenty-one remaining. 11 to 20 is your score. Here comes Cabrera up top of the key. Back over Hannigan. Pellucci has it, long three working on Zamara up and no good, tipped. Here comes Terry, he recovers it. Nice little football pass. Zamora up and no good. You know, quarterback to wide receiver there. You saw Bobby Terry being one of the starters for the Farmers this year. You know, wide receiver Nathan Zamora, number three on the basketball court, had a nice season as a wide receiver for the Honey Farmers. Bobby Terry has it, left wing, feet inside Rogers, Tim Bosserman. 11 to 20 remaining, 539 to score here from Honey, Colorado. Guzzo slings it over to Rogers, back over Magnet. Magnet up and no good. He's missed three, three point shots. At the conclusion of the first half, you know, we're gonna run some commercials and have the World Journal Halftime Show Report coming up here on the Satterock Sports Network. Cabrera slings it over, that's gonna be Reynolds. Reynolds up with it, no good, recovered Jace Rogers. Reynolds 4.5 points per game, 6.1 rebounds per game, and 1.8 steals per game. Reynolds, one of the best all around players for the Swink Lions. Terry gonna go over to Zamora. Zamora has it working inside. Tip taking away Hannigan. 450 remaining. Not a lot of scoring here in this second quarter of play. Bozerman goes over to Pellucci back outside of Cabrera. Cabrera having a very nice game so far. Reynolds unable to connect. Anthony Sandoval do check in for the Farmers. Here comes Aiden Zamora. A little spin move there off of Cabrera. Zamora back over to Magnat. Magnat, looking for an alley, gonna go over to Rogers, back outside, it's gonna be Nathan Zamora. Guzzo spin move up, pump fake, up with it. And if he could have finished that, that was a nice move, but nonetheless, Bobby Terry covers and gets it. Bobby Terry, 20 points versus Springer, the first game of the season. Four points off of five field goal attempts versus Swallows Charter Academy. Levon Bucicca also due to check in here, 13 to 20 is the score. We'll see him down the stretch here to end the first half. Here comes Pellucci, number 22, the junior. Back outside, Bozeman unable to connect. Back outside, Rogers or to Guzzo. Nice feed inside to Terry, but tipped by Pellucci. Out of bounds and the other way. Sandoval. And Bachicha checking in, Magnet and Rogers hits the bench. Hey, 
Barra feet inside tip, Terry, you know, honestly out of bounds, but nonetheless, great read by Terry, scanning the court, knowing that was gonna go inside to Bosman. Bosman could have had a wide open lane, but Terry closed it quick. He gets the steal, Bobby Terry stripped away. Hannigan working on Terry, no foul called. Here comes Guzzo, Guzzo pushing the envelope over to Sandoval, no look pass over Zamora, feet inside to Terry and out of bounds. And a timeout taken by head coach Ace Bosman. We're gonna take a timeout of our own. We're gonna be right back here after this word from Woody's Furniture. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road, right next to Big R, for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, currently the score 13 to 20. Farmers trying to climb out of a seven point deficit here from Honey, Colorado. 318 remaining here in the first half. So far this Farmers team though, they're crawling out of this hole here. They're doing a great job of coming out of it. And you know, getting some quick points there, you know, they got the quick two there and then um, missed that three there, but nonetheless here, they have the ball here. They can use some quick points fast here if you wanna go into the locker room feeling good about winning this game. And just like that, Levon Bacicca up and good. That's exactly what the farmers need. Here comes Cabrera, slowing things down. Feet inside, outside. Back over Pellucci. Pellucci rattles out. Rebounded by Levon Bacicca. Nathan Sandoval long three up. Got a shoulder thrown into him from Pellucci. Here comes Cabrera. Back over to Pellucci. Feet inside, Bosman working on Bacicca. Outside, number 45. That's gonna be Court Carew up and no good. Court LaRue, sorry, the junior. 15 to 20 is the score. Tipped Bozerman. He covered Zamora, but going back in the hands of Cabrera. Cabrera working inside on Zamora and a foul. First foul committed by Nathan Zamora. Cabrera heading to the charity stripe. Cabrera up and good. Thank you all who have been able to join us here on the Satterock Sports Network. We're still gonna be covering Honey Varsity action here for the home game, so we enjoy you guys being here for the ride and we greatly appreciate it. Nathan Zamora, right wing, trying to run the offense. Goes outside, that's gonna be Guzzo. Guzzo over, tip Pellucci, here comes Pellucci. Two farmers to beat Pellucci up and good. Expect Rodolfi to use a timeout here if he decides to, Isaiah Bacicca due to check in. Anthony Sandoval over to Guzzo. Guzzo pump fake, Guzzo up with the up and good. That's exactly what the farmers need, not these long three point shots. They just need to go inside and get the easy two points and I believe they'll be back in this game single handedly. And out of bounds. That ball going into the hands of some Lady Farmers varsity players there, out of bounds, Farmers ball. Here comes Isaiah Bachicha checking in for Levon Bachicha. Nathan Zamora back over to Bachicha. Going inside, feet over, Jace Rogers, long two up, no good. Terry tries to recover in the jump ball. Love the aggressiveness there from Bobby Terry. Remains Farmer's ball, 110 remaining. 
Jason Guzzo here on the inbound. Feeds it back over to Jace Rogers, left wing. That's going to be Isaiah Baticho over to Guzzo. Guzzo tipped, just taken away right out of his hands by Hunter Boserman. Boserman going up with it. Tipped back over to Cabrera. Cabrera up, and he draws the foul. Hand to face there. Cabrera head to the charity stripe. Here comes Cabrera at the charity stripe. He's made his money at the charity stripe so far tonight. Also getting lots of steals. We expected that. You know, we mentioned in that pregame show report that Cabrera, 22nd and 4.5. Steals per game, you know, 22nd, 2A basketball with steals per game. One point there for Cabrera. Farmers got to get something going if you want to feel good going into the locker room. Isaiah Bachicha up and no good. Jason Guzzo inside. Bobby Terry up, no good. Recover. Bozerman back in the hands of Guzzo. And a push. That called on Maroon. That being on Hunter Bozerman, his second of the night. Here comes Zamora. Smothered there by Cabrera. Been a nice matchup to see so far tonight. Out of bounds, heading Maroon's way. Here comes Cabrera bringing it up. Cabrera back over to Pelushi. They're just slowing things down. Very smart here from the swing lines of slowing things down and just wanting to get the last shot of this half. Bozerman over to Cabrera, back over to Pellucci, right wing. Recovered, Bobby Terry. Farmers can get a last shot. Isaiah Bachicha and a travel. Wow, what a sequence of events there. Lions have a chance to get a shot off here, 2.2 remaining. Pellucci over to Bozerman, Hail Mary up. No good. The end of the first half, 17 to 24 is your score. We're going to have updates, comments, reactions, and stats coming up from the first half of play of this game here. 17 to 24 is your score, ladies and gentlemen. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Journal Halftime Show Report. Nice, tightly contested game here from Honey, Colorado. Currently, your score being 17 to 24. This is the World Journal Halftime Show Report. Starting off with the Farmers 
only able to muster 17 points here in the first half. Levon Bacicca, he has two, both coming off of free throws. Um, number three, Nathan Zamora with a deep three. Um, leading also, you know, Bobby Terry, Jace Rogers having four points combined, two points each. Um, number three, three though, Jason Guzzo being the leading scorer so far with six points. So, you know, the main emphasis though for this Farmers team has been just missing those three-point balls. You know, I would really like to see this Farmers team coming into the lock, coming out of the locker room, sorry, going inside and getting buckets, especially with your big men, with the likes, you know, Bobby Terry, Jason Guzzo, Diego Lujan. You know, you want to get them some looks, and I think you can really crawl back into this game. You know, obviously you got to stay away from Hunter Bozerman. He's been kind of quiet tonight, but, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you could see Hunter Bozerman turn it up here pretty quickly. Um, you know, so far he has four points, one foul committed. Um, your link score, though, for the Lions, like I've said, that was some of the best point guard play I've seen in the first half this season from, you know, women's or men's varsity has been the play of Nate Cabrera, the junior there in the first half. Just did a wonderful job, you know, getting it done offensively and defensively. You got to be cheesed to have a guy like Cabrera on your roster because 13 of the 24 points have came from him. But nonetheless, you know, I believe he has four or five steals. You know, he's went to the charity stripe. He's targeted the good farmers, t players, you know, to just draw fouls and get stuff done. You know, also Pellucci he had four points, one foul committed. And uh, number 33 for the Lions, Hunter Reynolds, a senior. You know, I've said he's a great all-around player as well. you got to love all the great all-around players this Lions team has. And that's exactly what they have here. Got to be happy. But this game can very well go to either team. I mean, I feel like they're very evenly matched. You know, you got quality players with the likes on the farmer side. You know, of Guzzo, Terry you know, uh, Lujan, you know, you got good quality players, then you got that one stud in Levon Bacicca, and you also Nathan Zamora, not a really good player. You know, you got those two guys, and then you got, you know, quality players after that that gets the job done. But on the other side, you also have Cabrera and Bozerman, two quality players, and then you got, you know, three other, you know, good quality players with Reynolds, you know, Pellucci and the likes of them just getting it done. So, I mean, this is one of the most evenly matched teams I've seen this year. It's going to be a great second half of play, and we're glad to bring it to you guys on Sad Rock Sports Network. 17-24 to 24 is your score. 4.30 remaining here in the locker room time. We're going to be right back here on the Sad Rock Sports Network. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. 
Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road, right next to Big R, for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we are coming back here for some second half action. 17 to 24 currently is your score here from Honey, Colorado. Brock Brunelli, Chris Lee Faria, Destiny Archuleta, and Gabby Rios bringing you high school basketball here all on the Sad Rock Sports Network. Bosman's going to get us started here out of the second half. Hunter Bosman going over to Nate Cabrera. Long two from Cabrera. Swish. Here comes Guzzo. Back over to Magnet. Guzzo has a left wing. Bobby Terry up with it, up and good. Now the Farmers just need to find a way to keep up the pace here for the Sweet Lions team. So far, they've been very dominant. Here comes Bozerman, gonna go over to Cabrera. Cabrera over to Bozerman, working inside on Bachicha. Bozerman up and no good. Here comes Magnet, nice feed over to Goose. Sorry, Zamora, up to Terry. Bobby Terry, four quick points. Going back to Bobby Terry, a good friend of mine, Division I 2015 double state champion with him, and he also won 2018 state Division Three in bowling. So a little tidbit there for you guys. Bobby Terry has been a key to two of my three state titles. So shout out to Bobby Terry. Four quick points out of the locker room for him. And also four quick points for Nate Cabrera. Nate Cabrera evening things out here, still a seven point lead for the Lions. Here comes Guzzo on the inbound, I'm gonna go over to Zamora, 6-10 remaining. Ball goes in the scores table, remains Farmer's ball. Guzzo going over there, that's gonna be Zamora. 
Zamora back over to Maganat. Feeds it over to Guzzo, right wing. Guzzo pump fake over to right wing, working on Hannigan. Guzzo, nice little move inside. Rattles right in the toilet bowl for Jason Guzzo. This Farmers team coming out of the locker room with a huge spark. Gotta love what you're seeing from them so far. Here comes Barzerman. So far, four points into tonight's game. Here comes Reynolds, long two, foot was on the line, up and no good, recover, Jason Guzzo. Farmers gotta slow things down here. This is potential turning point here if they wanna get back in this game. Guzzo, back over to Maganan, back over to Terry, right wing. Here comes Zamora, Zamora working inside, three on three. Zamora tipped, recovered, Cabrera. Here comes Cabrera over to Bozerman, working on Bachicha, and a foul. <laughs> Blocking foul there on Levon Bachicha, his second. Or sorry, third. That was the third on Levon Bachicha. I'd expect Jace Bozerman's Lions now to target, you know, Levon Bachicha here to try to get him out of this game. Bozerman unable to connect, still a seven point lead, the same they came out of the locker room. Rogers up with it, up and no good. He covered Reynolds, Maroon's ball. Here comes Cabrera, letting the play happen. Cabrera, that sling up and good. You know, Cabrera, everything is advertised, you know, doing stats today, you know, on max preps, you know, he just fills up the stat sheet. You know, he gets it done offensively and defensively and just getting it done here again. Guzzo loses it, out of bounds, heading the other way. Wuhan do the check in. Also, Anthony Sandoval. Bobby Terry and Jacob Magnet hit the bench. Nine point deficit here for the Farmers. They gotta come back quickly if they need to stop here. They need a stop, you know, it's plain and simple. But Cabrera's been hot, you know, you have the good guard in Hunter Bozerman getting things done, you know, the shooting guard Bozerman having a nice game as well. Guzzo back over, Lujan, long two up, no good, recovered, Cabrera. Feels like I've said the junior Nate Cabrera's name a thousand times. I mean, absolute just dominant performance for Nate Cabrera. Back outside, Hunter Bozerman slowing things down. Very smart just to chew clock here for both sides. Pellucci up and a foul. Pellucci going to head to the cherry stripe, the junior. Currently on the season, 5.4 points per game. 3.8 defensive rebounds per game. 4.6 total. Number 45, Court LaRue checking in. Nine point deficit so far here for the Farmers. Gotta crawl out of this one quickly. And up and good for Pellucci. 10 point lead here for the Lions, largest of the night. Here comes Rogers, right wing. Rogers working inside. Trapped quickly there from the Lions. Great defense and a travel. Mike Rodolfi wants a timeout. He finally gets it. Timeout taken. We're going to take a turn of our own. We'll be right back here on the Sad Rock Sports Network. 
LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Ladies and gentlemen, things are heating up here from Honey, Colorado. 10 point deficit for the farmers. Big question is, can they crawl out of this 10 point deficit? 23 to 33, currently the score. Mike Rodolfi used his first timeout out of the locker room. You know, this farmers team came out of the locker room with a seven point deficit, but this Lions team just keeps tugging away. And you know, so far, if they keep up this pace, they're gonna come out victorious in this game. Farmers need a big change of pace here if they wanna get back in this one. Levon Pachicha, Isaiah Pachicha do check in. Comes Reynolds working inside and a foul. Two of the three Bachichas on this team checking in. Six men on the court. Somebody needs to check out. Luhan's gonna check out. Bosman outside, Cabrera up, rebound. Levon Bachicha. Nathan Zamora feeds it over, Jason Guzzo. Jason Guzzo going inside with it tipped and a blocking foul. 247 remaining in the third quarter. Jason Guzzo here on the inbound. Gonna go over Nathan Zamora. Back over Isaiah Bachicha, left wing. Bachicha working inside up no good, recovered Reynolds. Here comes Cabrera, slowing things down here for the Lions. Here comes Pelushi, back over to Reynolds. Hunter Reynolds working inside. And going the other way. That being on the senior Reynolds. Thank you all who have joined us so far here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. If you haven't already, please feel free to give us a like here on this video, subscribe, and promote our network. Or if you want to become a super fan or a sponsor, please feel free to contact myself or Brad Doherty or anybody at the Saddle Rock Sports Network, and we will get that going for you guys. Nate Cabrera there with a quick two-pointer. And a travel on Isaiah Bachicha. Pellucci gonna go over to Cabrera to get us started. Cabrera over to Bozerman, left wing. Bosman has it, feed inside Cabrera, nothing but net. And he's calling game. I mean, I think if the Lions come out victorious, Cabrera's gonna make this real easy for me to pick a player of the game. Isaiah Batista, he has it, gonna go over to Jason Guzzo, right wing. Tipped, tipped again, recovered, Maroon's ball. Hunter Bosman. Hunter Bozerman, 14 point lead here. They just want to slow things down here and come out victorious. Alan Maraz do check in for the first time tonight. And Diego Lujan do to check in again. Here comes Nathan Zamora. Back over Isaiah Bachicha. Long three up and no good. Recover Hunter Bozerman. Here comes Cabrera now bringing it up. Back over to Bozerman, 43 seconds remaining. Bozerman working inside, nice little feed inside to Reynolds. Reynolds up with it, up and good. The senior Reynolds expands it to 16. Timeout taken, Rodolfi. 
We're going to take a time out of our own. We'll be right back here on the Sad Rock Sports Network. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. 23 to 39, currently the score. 34 seconds remaining here in the third quarter of play. Lions were able to expand it to a 16 point lead here. Gonna be a tough task here for the Farmers to get back into this game. Farmers, if they lose this game, will become 500 on the season. Currently four and three. 570 win percentage, 2-0 in the Santa Fe League with a two-game win streak. Ended up fourth last year in that Santa Fe League and won 63-40 to last year versus this Lions team. Tables have kind of kind of turned, though, here in the 2024 contest, though, as this has been all Lions here, especially in the second half. Cabrera just slowing things down. Cabrera back over to Pellucci. Pachicha up and a foul. 3.3 remaining. Be Alan Mraz here on the inbound. Guzo feeds it over Zamora. Zamora back over Lujan. Long three up. Buzzer beater, no good. End of three, 23 to 39 to score. We're gonna be right back after this word from Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. 23 to 39 is the score. Lions are on top. Thank you all who have joined us here for this two games of varsity action here, all brought to you on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. All of us at the Saddle Rock Sports Network, really appreciate all the support, especially the hospitality here from the Honey staff of, you know, letting us do the games. And, you know, due to the sponsors and great fans like you, we are able to keep this program running. Here comes Amora, brings it past the charity stripe. Gonna go back over to Guzo. Back over to Levon Bacicca, up and good. Levon Bacicca, 10.9 points per game, 6.9 rebounds per game, one assist per game. Having a quick two pointer there. Here comes Pellucci, right wing. Gonna go over there, tip Cabrera. Ball almost fouls out, of, goes out of bounds, slings to the scoring table. Great effort from Cabrera, up Pellucci! No, no, no. Pellucci with the block. All oh, ball there. He went flying out of the gym there, Nick Pellucci. Well, if that didn't wake you up, I don't know what will. That was incredible block from Pellucci as Zamora misses the three. Guzzo going up with it. Up, oh, blocked by Bozerman. 25 to 39 to score, 7 10 remaining. Bobby Terry, Jacob Magnet do check in. Pellucci working on Mraz, feet inside Bozerman. Bozerman up, no good, recovered Hannigan and a travel.
Farmer's possession, they need some quick buckets to even get close here. And another out of bounds, last touch, Nathan Zamora. 6.44 remaining. Here comes Cabrera, feed over to Reynolds. Reynolds back outside, Pellucci. Pellucci over to Cabrera. Great job by the Lions, just slowing things down, making the clock work and get out victorious here with this game. Back over to Bozerman. Bozerman slings it outside to Hannigan. You'll see the likes of Hannigan, LaRue, Hayden Reynolds, just eight minutes for this you know, Lions team so far. They've done a great job of doing that tonight. It'll be Jason Guzzo here on the inbound. Over to Sandoval back outside. LaVon Bacicha has it, feeds it over left wing. Long three from Jacob Maganet. Uno, dos, tres, Jacob Maganet. Huge three ball there for the Farmers. Here comes Cabrera. Cabrera has it here, has it at the logo, smothered by Sandoval. Pelucci gonna go over inside. Bozeman has it, double team from Terry. And Bachicha, Hannigan though's gonna be wide open and takes the two. Here comes Sandoval. Sandoval feeds it over to Terry. Back over to Bachicha. Bachicha throws up a Hail Mary up and no good. Could have called Terry on the over the back there. And Magnet, two huge threes. Rodolfi, timeout. We're gonna take a timeout of our own on the Sad Rock Sports Network. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road, right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Brock Bernelli, Chris Lee Faria, Gabby Rios, and Destiny Archuleta here on the Sound Rock Sports Network. This Swink Lions team vying for their first win of 2024. Last win was December 16th at 23 versus Kim Branson. 11 point win being 56 to 45. Ball rolls out of bounds. Farmers finding a spark here quickly. 10 point here if the Farmers can capitalize. Nice little feed inside, wide open. Magnet pump fake up and good. Eight point deficit only for the Farmers. Their lowest of the half since they came out of the locker room with seven. Here comes Cabrera, top of the key, working inside. Cabrera shot up, no good. Recovered, Levon Bichicho, football pass down. Sandoval working on Bozerman, up. No good, recovered, Pellucci. And a timeout taken. Take a timeout of our own here on the Saddle Rock Sports Network. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. 33 to 41 is the score. 428 remaining. Sandoval recovers. Sandoval long two. Rattles out. Tip Terry in a foul.
heading Maroon's way. Barn burner here from Honey, Colorado, eight points. All the farmers need to get back in this one. Nine points to get into the lead. Here comes Cabrera. So, so far in this fourth quarter, has been kind of quiet, but so far in the you know first three quarters, he was absolute dominant, absolute great play from Cabrera. And a foul. Called on Terry, saying he threw a body into Cabrera. You know, Cabrera second on the team in points per game with 11.8. He has well shattered that tonight. Cabrera up and good. Up and no good there on the second one. Guzzo bringing it up here for the Farmers. Guzzo has it going to go over to LaVon Bacicca. LaVon Bacicca. Nice little finger roll there. LaVon Bacicca coming up huge here for the Farmers. Cabrera pump fake over to Pellucci. Nick Pellucci over there to Reynolds. Jace Rogers due to check in. Nice block from LaVon Bacicca back in the hands of Cabrera. Cabrera up. No good. Tip magnet. Ball still rolling. Recover Pellucci. Slowing things down here, Cabrera, 3.15 remaining. Seven point deficit, Reynolds, Bozerman. Bozerman, top of the key. And going the other way. Jace Rogers to check in for the Farmers. Bobby Terry checking out. Bobby Terry is in foul trouble. I believe he has two or three on the night. Here comes Magnet. He's made two quick threes there in that fourth quarter. Magnet working inside. Back over to Rogers. Feet inside. Bachicha working on Bozerman. Up no good. Hand again out of bounds. Staying right here. And this Farmers team, it looked when they went down 10 that they were going to come out losing in this game. And, but they're just crawling back in here. Cabrera up and a foul. You know, unfortunately there for the Farmers, Looks when Guzzo broke it, they weren't ready. Nonetheless, they went up coast to coast and Cabrera drawn the foul. First foul committed from Jacob Magnet. Cabrera up and good. Cabrera second one up and no good. Recovered, Levon Bachicha. Farmers got to score quick. And a foul. Here comes Magnet, three point specialist, up and good. Uno, dos, tres, Jacob Magnet from Cougar Canyon. Timeout taken, 2.34 remaining. We're gonna be right back over this word from Woody's Furniture. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road, right next to Big R, for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this barn burner. 38 to 43 is the score, you know. Something really cool, you know, you don't see, you know, being in the stands or, you know, watching from home is, you know, being this close and that, you know, listening to what, you know, the coaches say. And, you know, this Swink Lions team, uh, head coach Jace Bozerman said, you know, Jacob Magnet, he's a shooter, contain him. So, you know, Magnet had three quick threes here in the fourth quarter. Look for the Lions to try to contain him. Here comes Cabrera. Cabrera going to feed inside. Bozerman, Chase Rogers. No, no, no. 
Chase Rogers, things are heating up here from Honey, Colorado. Remains Maroon's ball. Two minute warning here. Recovered Pellucci. Pellucci trapped by Magnet. Here comes Bozerman. And a foul. Pellucci's left arm is hurt. Wow. You know, the Lions possibly just taking out the Farmers' best player in LeVon Bacicca. That's foul number five for him. He leaves tonight's contest. You know, LeVon Bacicca has been a huge staple these last two years, year and a half for the Farmers. He's now fouled out, and now the Farmers will have to ride without him here for two more minutes here trying to come out of this five-point deficit. Terry gets a body thrown into him and a foul. So he has a pushing foul on Terry. Honey crowd not quite agreeing with that one. Number 43, Luke Hannigan, the junior, heading to the charity stripe. He can very well seal this game. You know, minute 47, still a lot in basketball, but you know, if he connects on this second one, this game could very well be put away. And again, second one rattles into the net. Timeout taken, head coach Chase Bosman. Timeout of our own here on the Sad Rock Sports Network. When you partner with Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions, you become part of the family. Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions is a design, build, and install company for synthetic turf fields serving Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. We are the only owner-operated turf build and install company in Colorado. And we are a one-stop shop that does it all in-house, which means the people that are building your field care about quality and will make sure that it is done right. Choose Rocky Mountain Turf Solutions and join our family. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. 38 to 45 is the score. One timeout remaining for both sides. Both being half timeout. So be interesting to see what head coach Mike Rodolfi and Jace Bosman do to end this game. Here comes Guzo pushing it up. Seven point lead here for the Lions. Terry has it. Gonna go over to Sandoval. Back over, that's gonna be Magnet. Magnet, long two, off the glass. Farmers in a press, here comes Cabrera. Nathan Zamora due to check in. Guzzo throws a body into Cabrera and a foul. Second foul committed by Jason Guzzo. Nathan Zamora due to check in. You know, check in for the Trinidad transfer, Anthony Sandoval. Up and good for Cabrera. Cabrera just taking over this game. 118, six point lead here for the Lions. Cabrera cannot make it seven, recovered, Guzzo. Farmers gotta go down quick to score here, get a quick foul or something. They got one timeout to use. Six point deficit, Zamora has it, he's in foul trouble. Terry's wide open, working on Reynolds. Terry, rouse out, Rogers blocked by Pellucci. Magnet up, no good, recovered, Pellucci. What a defensive sequence there for Nick Pellucci. Guzzo working. And a foul. That being on Jason Guzzo, two quick fouls committed by him here in the fourth quarter here as we go into the end of this game. Three total on the game.
Cabrera connects. Isaiah Bachicha, the senior, checking in for Bobby Terry. 40 to 47 is the score, 50.3 remaining. Farmers need a miracle to get back into this one. Cabrera makes it an eight point lead. Timeout taken, Coach Bozerman. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Here comes Zamora to get a start out of the timeout. 47 remaining, Magnet has it. Magnet gonna go over, here's Zamora left wing. Zamora blocked! Cabrera in a foul. On the floor, Guzo on the inbound, 36.1 remaining. Zamora's Hail Mary up and good. Rodolfi wants a timeout, he gets it. Timeout Rodolfi, timeout Farmers. We're gonna be right back after this word from Woody's Furniture. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road, right next to Big R, for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. 43 to 48 is the score. Five point deficit here for the Farmers. 30.6 remaining. Both teams have used all their timeouts. So, you know, both coaches there, we, you know, mentioned with minute 12, minute 18 remaining that they each had one more timeout. One being a full for the Farmers, one being a half for the Lions. You know, how will they use it? Well, both of them really didn't go to their advantage any. You know, they were forced to use them in the times obligated. So here comes Cabrera in a foul. They'll reach in. Uh, Sandoval's second foul. So, you know, if they want to foul, Sandoval's got two to give. So, obviously, though, you know, Cabrera making that one, you know, fouls have been committed by the Farmers quite a bit. So, every foul out of the bonus has gone in the favor of the Lions. So, you know, I don't know how much just fouling will really work here with 26.9 left remaining. Zamora has it, he's gonna go back over. Up from Sandoval. Uno, dos, tres, Sandoval. 15 remaining, they got a foul quick. If that's their strategy, they get it. And a foul. Just a great job there, you know. Number five, Nate Cabrera, the junior, is just a, I mean, sorry, number three, Nate Cabrera, the junior, just a warrior. I mean, he's hobbling on this court, you know, with his knees, you know, hurting. And, you know, just a warrior to, you know, coming out here for the Lions, trying to come out victorious. Hannigan air balls the first one. You know, this could be a good strategy from the Lions. If they want to shoot this ball off the backboard to burn more time, you know, you know the farmers, if you miss it, are going to foul quick. Maybe hit it off the backboard. Kill more time if you're the Lions. Bozeman recovers. Bozeman, I'm no good. Recovered. Hannigan just burning time here. 
Hannigan, oh, no good, recovered. Bosman killing time here. They're gonna come out victorious with this one. Nathan Zamora's up, and no good. Final here from Honey, Colorado, 46 to 50. We're going to have our final, you know, comments and reactions here coming up after this word from some of our sponsors. LARCC Trucking is the place to call if you have something to haul. A family-owned trucking business since 2021, LARCC is named after the owner's children, their motivation to create a successful future. LARCC is ready to help you haul your hay, cattle, gravel, or equipment anywhere in southwestern United States. LARCC also buys and sells hay. Give them a call today at 970-274-0826 and get ready to haul. Woody's Furniture invites you to stop by one of their two convenient locations to browse their fine selection of beautiful furniture, appliances, mattresses, and more for your home. Visit their original store in downtown Raton or their new store in Trinidad on Freedom Road right next to Big R for a personal and professional furniture shopping experience. Woody's Furniture proudly supports the student athletes and student broadcasters of this tournament. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Woody's Furniture post-game show report. Final here, Farmers coming out with a loss but the Swink Lions, they're 1-0 in 2024. So new fortunes now for this team as they are now above 500. Farmers drop down, though, obviously on the season to 4-4. Four and four. Lions 5-4. and four. Um, Some quick recap here for the both teams. You know, LaVon Bacicca fouled out there. He ended up with six. Um, Link score here is going to end up being number 23 for the Farmers. Going over with 18 being Jacob Magnet Had three three balls in the second half, so coming out huge for them. Um, also number 44, Bobby Terry with six. Number 21, Jace Rogers with two. Um, going on to the other side, though, Swink Lions team just took care of business. Number 22, Nick Pellucci with five points. And then, um, you know, he made it easy on me tonight. Uh, number three, Nate Cabrera, the junior, coming out here with the Woody's Furniture player of the game with 31 points. You know, I've seen a lot of basketball this year, and I've covered great basketball. And I think Nate Cabrera had the best game I've seen all around from a player this year for any team I've seen played, you know, or watched. So, you know, I've had the pleasure of broadcasting him. He's going to be the player of the game, Nate Cabrera, the waste furniture player of the game. That's going to wrap it up here. Farmers go down 0-1 in 2024. We're going to be right back here for some more Honey Varsity action here later in the month. Hope you guys can join us. Thank you all who have joined us here tonight. Hope you all have a good night, and we will see you all at the next, God, next ball game, and God bless.